The Omicron variant is affecting hospitals in so many ways. One you might not think about is how much time an ambulance has to wait before dropping off a patient. Tonight, THV 11's Frederick Price shows us how one organization is working to solve this issue. A lack of staffing in hospitals is affecting everyone, including ambulance services. Now, because of the Omicron variant, EMTs and paramedics are waiting longer than usual. We're spending that more time at the hospital than what the system's designed for, then it really slows down the system. In fact, it actually takes ambulances out of service. MEMS Executive Director Greg Thompson is talking about the process of getting a patient from an ambulance to the emergency room. To go to the hospital, drop off their patient, and be back in service after doing their paperwork and cleaning in less than 30 minutes. He says in areas like Little Rock, hospital delays have become the new normal in this pandemic. So since COVID, we're seeing time sometimes as much as two or three hours. So what's the reason behind this delay? Toward the understaffing at the facilities, the hospitals are, are, are strapped for staff. Ken Kelly with the Arkansas Ambulance Association says the issue is that some hospitals are asking EMTs and paramedics to wait until the hospital can accept the patient. But he adds that federal law states once the medical unit is on hospital property, the patient is the hospital's responsibility. Asking the EMS crews to hold in that situation uh, is really just that. It's just a request and uh, it could be denied. He says the association rolled out an app this month that will allow EMTs and paramedics to report wait times once they drop off a patient. They can easily report back uh, on a per case basis um, what their wall time, what their delay was and, and some of the possible reasons. In the future, Kelly says this will allow drivers to be able to pick hospitals that aren't so busy. If we can recommend an alternate destination to our patient uh, and take the burden off of that facility, that's what we want to try to do. Thompson says despite the challenges, he will continue to work together with the hospitals to take care of patients. So we're doing our best to try to help them. We're doing everything from cleaning beds to, to babysitting some patients for them. Because we understand it's not a us versus them. We're all in this together. In Little Rock, Frederick Price, THV 11 News.